Hey friends, it's April Holly Smith and it is time again to do our every dollar weekly budget update and I have an extra big one because we didn't update last week. So we're going to start at the bottom and then move our way up to the top. I'm going to let you see here in March. I do have March transactions, which is why we're doing March. And then we will roll over to April once we have April transactions. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up so that it's out of the way as much as possible. And the first thing down here at the bottom is the Walmart Beauty Box. It's $5. It comes out once a quarter. It's the only subscription box that I'm still on. And I wasn't disappointed. I liked what I got. And for the price, I can't beat it. So, all right. Target um, Easter. That was $8.09 for um, tights for the girls. This is going into the girls' clothing budget. Then I have a bunch of grocery um, transactions, so I'm going to do a, kind of a bunch of those all at once. Aldi. Hmm. I guess there was only two. Maybe not. Oh, no, the save a lot one. Here we go. Okay. So I have a couple of Etsy transactions, and that's going to all go in the sinking fund. Um, the $64 was an Etsy expense, and this $14.25 is Etsy income. And actually, I'm going to have Etsy income a little later as well, which is good. So I have a couple of things that are had to tend the kids. Um, so my Etsy stuff is put everything is at Etsy. It's like its own category. I don't do the income. I don't take that as income or anything. It just needs to all be part of Etsy. So the next thing that we are going to look at is restaurants because we have kind of uh, a couple of those coming up. There we go. So I have a Denny's here for $43. I have a Denny's here for $43, and yes, this was two separate occasions. So we got all of those, and since we're here with groceries, we're going to go ahead and pop these groceries. Um, save a lot is a grocery. All these is a grocery. Mm. Let's just scroll up and see if there's any other grocery things while we're here. Yep, here we got three of them that are still in March because these guys are going to be on April. So they have a lot, Duma Meats and Aldi. Okay, let's go up to income, put this paycheck. Look, we don't even have a spot for that. So we're gonna click on add income. Okay. Now, oh, and look, we have another Viking Forge here, which does have a place. And we have uh, YouTube income right here. Not what I wanted to do. Okay. Those are listed there. And then I have a couple of expenses that are in my regular $8. Folio investing, that's an investing site that I actually have had for, I don't know, a thousand years. Used to not have a charge for it. it that's a new thing. Okay, so Geo Woodstock is a sinking fund I have down here at the bottom. That is kind of, that's that's not kind of it, is our family vacation. So we are going to see if I, there it is. Managed to, there we go. And let's pop this Etsy transaction in there too, since we're down here at the bottom. 
Okay. Just, okay, so we have something here that is kind of, I don't have in here, and I'm going to put it in this lifestyle. I'm going to add this as an item. We're going to put Easter pictures because I did not budget properly for them. Yeah. Need to add that to the list of things to, you know, remember next year. Did you guys see Wendy Valencia? Her, she has a spreadsheet of everything. Like she has to add in that's unplanned so that she can remember to do it. It's huge. It's really smart that she's doing that. This $16 is a vitamins from Amazon, and that was out of my weekly. That's my spending money. It was the um, vitamin D that is in coconut oil and not soybean oil because that's bad for me. just order. This is gas for yellow. She had to share with me she ordered a gingerbread man that runs fast and talks. Okay, so this Sam's Club, that is also grocery money. Pretty sure it was like toilet paper and coffee, but can't live without it. Okay, so this Walgreens is an unplanned expense as well um, and we're gonna put this under the grocery category because it was nighttime at gummy vitamins for the girls we ran out of but I guess because I consider that like a food I guess so all right so this last thing is I'm just gonna call this a Chris side hustle because he was dealing with this this was a rebate from a Sylvania light bulb class action suit and they found us through his purchase on AutoZone. <coughs> you okay? Yeah. Um, Gonna go over to April. And it has that. Okay, so I got two transactions left and one of these is Chris's spending money for the month and that's actually its own category, so each transaction I don't track. I just give him his money, and it goes. So I'm going to delete this out of here because it's been accounted for in his spending money, which is located so that you can see how that looks. Right here, his weekly spending. He gets that, and then he spends it however. And he actually, he, I've gotten him his own card so that he can deposit that money and put it in if he wants to spend it online which he is choosing to do so in some cases that's fine um pizza hut he got pizza one day when i was out doing the grocery shopping because i took a really long time and that's fine so that's just going to get categorized and that is all of my transactions so let's look over here at my worksheet so coming up for april uh, our first paycheck in april we're going to um it's going to be a little bit of a short-er check. Still, it's still like 48 hours. It still has overtime. Um, so we're looking at about 6:28:26. Uh, we're not going to put anything to savings this time, but we are going to be doing Chris's money. Chris's money and my money this month have both gotten bumped up. Now he's going to get $75. $25 of that is for gas, and then $50 of that is for his walking around money. $40 for restaurants, $100 for grocery type foods. Akron Utility is our water and trash, and that is $57 we've gotten the bill for that. $109 for Dominion, and we're not actually going to be paying that until the last week of the month. Netflix, First Energy, um, obviously I'm going to be paying the majority of that the second week, uh, and that is because it's not as large a check as like a full 60 hours, which he's been roped into. Spectrum and Verizon are the usual amounts. They are not changing the same thing with T-Mobile. 
Uh, I'm going to be funding the house and yard fund. It's $20 for the house fund, $20 for the yard fund. Uh, and those are for things like grass seed for the yard, um, gas for the lawnmower, um, weed eater string. Um, like if I needed to paint the, the fence post, which actually I did last year, I spent $9 on paint, like it would come out of that. And the house fund is for all things for the house. If I needed uh, to paint, which I totally need to paint, but um, I would buy paint out of that. Um, our furnace filter, a new furnace filter would come out of that. Recently, you, if you've been watching, I have purchased a new shower curtain, a new shower curtain rod, and new um, clips for the shower curtain. So like, do you really need help? Um, so that came out of the house fund. It's going to be my week to buy diapers, which at this point I can happily report to you that everybody left the house without a diaper this weekend and nobody peed except in the potty. The whole family. Hallelujah. So we're getting to like where we're just solely overnight diapers for everybody. <laughs> um, I am planning on ordering a, a 31 order, which I was supposed to actually do today, but I could not do it online. So that is some luggage packing things for our Joe Woodstock trip, including a soft-sided cooler, which happens to be on sale this month for like half price. And I'm going in with somebody else on our order so that we can both like get the stuff that we want. So I don't have to order like $500 worth of stuff. I can order just the stuff that I want. So um, that is the plans for the money this week. I hope this was helpful for you. I would like you to comment below. Tell me what was your peak and your valley. Um, I can tell you it was really fun and great to go get our Easter pictures, but dude, I did not plan that at all. And I had to buy tight. So that was like a, a valley of money. Um, but trying to think like what was great I don't even know like nothing stands out as being super wonderful well I guess having the money to have the Easter pictures when it was time so uh all right well I would appreciate you watching if you would give me a thumbs up click it right now I would also very much appreciate that and I will see you next time guys bye